Michele Marone just got a six-figure modeling deal. Say what? Hello there. Can't get enough of our lovely Michele Marone? Well, I hate to break it to you, but soon there'll be more competition for us guys and gals vying over Michele's hand. Don't know what I'm talking about? Apparently, Michele is going to be exposed to the whole world. Hang on to your seats, because we'll tell you the juicy details, along with a surprising secret of his. Let's have a little recap. If you don't know who this sexy man is, he became more famous due to his latest movie. The romantic and sexy Polish movie goes by 365 Days on Netflix, starring Italian actor Michele Morone and his stunning, equally gorgeous counterpart, Anna Maria Tesluka. The erotic romance with bits of drama is based on the novel written by Blanka Lipinska, a first of the trilogy. If you look at the movie in a very odd angle, the plot is actually a romance. Imagine a Sicilian dominant mafia boss, Massimo Torricelli, is obsessed with a young Polish woman, Laura Biel, whom he feels is his soulmate due to an emotional incident. Sounds romantic? Feel like you want this kind of love story happening in your lives? We're not finished yet. Our hot Casanova kidnaps her and gives her 365 days to fall in love with him while holding her captive. You have 365 days. I'll do anything so you can fall in love with me. And he will only go ahead if she consents. So no touchy touchy unless she wants him to press the thumbs up button for her, which I'm sure she wants him to do. That's what the film is about. Simple and to the point. Very blunt indeed. But what makes it a genre that you might be interested in? It's very similar to Fifty Shades of Grey, another steamy movie that has been making ways for the steamy romance and sexy scenes, but the similarities in there. 365 Days is more of a romance with a woman of his dreams, with some funny moments and no BDSM, no whipping, no blindfolds, no ice cream looking. The film was released theatrically in Poland in February and was eventually released on Netflix, making it the number one spot in less than a week on the streaming platform. Thanks to the handsome star behind it all, Michele Morone. Who is this man? If you're a fan or just plain curious, here's all you need to know about him. This handsome harbinger of hormone doom is a 29-year-old actor and singer whose claim to fame has been the movie 365 Days, where he acted and sang in it. Also, he was born in Melignano, Italy. Before his hit film, he acted in web series such as Medici and other plays, while also starring in a few Italian and Polish films. He studied in theater at Teatro Facini di Pava. And in his Instagram videos, he talks about his passion for cinema and how he struggled to get where he is. He's not just good at acting, though. His musical career also deserves an applause. McKinley Moroni has been a professional guitarist and singer with a popular album called Dark Room, which is suddenly climbing up the charts, thanks to the Netflix movie. His song Feel It was also featured in 365 Days and is now one of the most downloaded songs. He's also writing a new song right now titled Press a Subscribe Button. Just kidding. Or are we? His personal life, especially his dating life, oh ho ho. He's single, everyone. Don't worry. But at one time, Moroni was married to a fashion designer at Ellie Sad, Roba Sade, and has two sons, Marcuto Moroni and Brado Moroni. Though the couple divorced in 2018, Michele and Ruba are co-parenting their kids together and share a great report. Whether it's the pictures or the videos that feature their sons, they make sure their family life is as good as it comes. A sequel to the movie, This Day, has been announced since the movie ends on a cliffhanger, and we cannot wait to see more Massimo. He got a new contract. For one, he's the new Christian Grey and an attractive Italian Don who means business. And wait, it keeps getting better. 365 Day star Michele Moroni has landed an awesome, lucrative new deal as the face of fashion brand Guess. And get ready to drop your jaws because he signed a six-figure deal, approximately $500,000. Wowza! Like us, co-founder Paul Massiano has become a big fan of the sexy Italian actor after watching his breakthrough Netflix film and recently flew the former Gardner out of his home in Switzerland to discuss the modeling gig. Guess's deal with Moroni follows successful campaigns with stars like Jennifer Lopez and Hailey Bieber. How lucky are they? Moroni, Guess noted, has gained traffic on social media rapidly, with roughly 10 million followers on Instagram alone. 
and rose to fame during the pandemic when the controversial 365 Days became Netflix's most viewed film. Other brands he represents. If you've got a face like that, you're not just going to end up with a few modeling deals. A new advertising campaign for the summer of Dolce & Gabbana was no exception. The stylist Dolce & Gabbana returned and chose Nepal as the location to take the shots. If you check the social media, during the days of early August, they published on their Facebook page some shots relating to the promotion of their new line of accessories and clothes. Ooh la la! McKinley Moroni was chosen as the protagonist. Together with other models of the campaign, some are in the pails. Moroni was considered the new Italian sex symbol after the success of the film starring him on Netflix, 365 Days. So it's no wonder he was chosen to do the shots while taking the best position offered. You can see that the images they advertised were women's summer clothes, sunglasses, vests, shirts, and men's trousers, and other fashionable accessories worn by two Italian models. The models Chiara and Elda, and of course our very own Michele Morone, are models. They were taking pictures of against the background of typical corners of the beautiful city of Nepal, showing the B&G products. If you take the time to observe the photos, they're flanked or surrounded by traditional Nepalian figures and posing in characteristic alleys. And on beaches, creating vibrantly colorful and mesmerizing shots. If you'd recall, D&G is an old all-star player when it comes to the creation of advertisements set in appels. A few years ago, in the midst of Game of Thrones success, they shot a video starring No Nothing Jon Snow. That's not all, they also shot a video in Capri for a perfume. Looks like Michele's getting all the love he deserves. Secret surprise, Michele Moroni has his own clothing brand. He confirmed the creation of the company via an Instagram live story on August 8, 2020. Last August, Moroni launched the women's beachwear clothing, Aroma Roma. Shortly after the announcement, the website of the clothing brand crashed due to heavy traffic. Imagine being so hot that your fans would come rampaging on your new website. Maybe you can do that too by pressing the bell icon. Anyway, Moroni makes his own designs in collaboration with fashion designer Chiara Polano and the company is owned by Morone and run by Spazio Arco Company. Hold up, we have an extra, extra secret surprise for you guys as well. Morone is set to launch his own perfume, Feel It, which will be out in stores on October 3rd, 2020. And that's the end of our hot fact video about Michele Morone. Also check out our video, Michele Morone defends 365 days against critics. Fight back, baby boy! And all of you, especially 365 Days fans, drop down a comment. We love that. And cut. Till next time.